Hi everyone, today I'm talking about assertiveness and there will be two parts to what I talk about. And uh, But for the first part I just want to explore what assertive means because the word assertive is often misunderstood. People sometimes think of it um, as meaning uh, being aggressive or being forceful and it's actually far from that. Coming up is a picture which outlines very simply where assertiveness sits on the communication spectrum. So as you can see, on the extreme left is passive, on the extreme right is aggressive, and in the middle there is um, assertive. So when someone is passive, they sacrifice their own needs and feelings and views and give in to the other person. And this might happen for a variety of reasons. On the opposite end of the scale, when someone is aggressive, they can trample on the needs and feelings and views of the other person and they put themselves ahead and put themselves as, um, as number one. Assertiveness is different though. When someone's assertive, they put themselves forward, um, but they avoid sacrificing the, their own stuff and they don't trample on the feelings or views of the other person. So assertiveness is a respectful way to express ourselves and ask for what we want or say what we feel without being a pushover and without being a shark. So I thought I'd share an example of a story with you. So we've got three siblings, Mila, Stella and Joe, and they all care for their older brother who has a significant disability and lives separately from them. So every weekend the siblings take turns in taking their brother out uh, for recreation, for example. So on this particular occasion, Joe uh, is up to, it's his turn to look after the brother, but he gets a last minute invitation to something he really wants to go to. So the, he decides to ring Mila first and uh, he asks if they could swap, if she could maybe look after, jo, uh, look after the brother this weekend. And Mila responds by saying, are you kidding me, Joe? You want me to drop my life and my plans this weekend so that you can have your life? No, nah, sorry, no way. And Joe's a bit taken aback by this, but then he decides to ring Stella and Stella has a completely different reaction. She says something like this. She says, um, oh, well, I did have plans, Joe, but I guess I, guess I could um, change them. Um, I can tell my friends that I can have dinner with them some other time. Um, I, if you really need to go, I could do it. I mean, I bought my ticket to the show afterwards, but I guess I could give that to someone else. So as you've probably guessed, neither of these responses are assertive. While Miller was aggressive, Stella was quite passive. So if you were Miller or Stella, what are some ways in which you could have responded to Joe in an assertive way. I thought I'd share some examples. So they could have said, Joe, this is very last minute. I've got commitments too this weekend, so on this occasion I have to say no. Or alternatively, Joe, I understand you have last minute plans, but I have plans too that I don't want to cancel. And number three, Joe, I don't want to cancel my plans this weekend, so I'm afraid I have to say no. So there are three different ways that um, the sisters could have said no to Joe without um, trampling on his feelings and without sacrificing their own needs and wants too. Now that I've sort of shown you what the three communication styles are, the passive, assertive and aggressive, the next thing I want to do is take you through what we call I statements. And I statements are um, sentences that we use to express ourselves and to be assertive. So tune in next time where I'll talk about the I statements. Thanks.